In this video, I will show you how to configure a single-sided VPC. So this is our lab topology. We have two Nexus switches and one iOS switch. Okay. So these two switches are connected with Ethernet 1 slash 1 and 1 slash 2. These two interfaces will be our peer link and there will be a port channel 1. While the management interface we're going to use for keep a live link. This side we're going to configure 10.1.1.1 IP. This side we're going to configure 10.1.1.2 IP. NX1 will be our primary switch and NX2 will be our secondary switch. The VPC domain will be 1 and 1 slash 3 are the member interfaces connected to our third devices. This side we're going to configure port channel 10 and this side we're going to configure VPC port channel 10. Okay, so there, there, this side we have 0 slash 0 and 0 slash 1 interface belong to port channel. So these are the details. So as I mentioned, NX1 will be our primary, NX2 will be our secondary, priority NX1 will be 20 while the 2 will be 30 and these are the peer link and these are the keep alive link management one and these are the IP address I told you. VPC domain 1 and peer link port channel will be 1 and member port channel, their member port channel will be 10. Okay. And the access layer switch interfaces are G0 and G0 slash 1. The access layer switch I'm using in this lab is this one in case if you want to perform the same lab. While the next switch image I'm using 936 for Eve NG if you want to perform. So let's start okay from the first device okay which is NX1. So I open all three devices NX1, NX2 and ACS1. Nothing is configured, so we're gonna start from the NX1 configuration. Okay, and the steps which we discussed in previous video, we need to do the same thing. So let me go to configuration and change the host name NX-1. After that, we need to enable the feature. Enable features for VPC, and those features are feature, okay, VPC. And second feature which is require L LSEP feature LSEP. So this is the first step. Okay. After enable the features, we need to configure keep alive. So we're gonna use the management link. As we know, for keep alive, we're gonna use the default one management link. So let's configure that one interface management zero. And IP address which we decide is 1011 and slash 30. Okay. And no shutdown. So this is the first step. After that exit from here. So keep alive link is done. By the way, we discussed these steps previously. Physical connectivity is already done. Domain we're going to configure a bit later. Peer link we're going to configure a bit later. It can be in any order. So I start from the keep alive link. So I configure keep alive. Okay. After the keep alive configuration, now we need to configure the domain. So VPC domain and we decide one. It can be from one to thousand, any number. Okay. And because we say this will be primary. So we're going to assign the priority as per our setting S20. So let's assign a role priority 20. Next, we're going to say that uh, peer keep alive destination. We're going to configure the other side to IP as per our lab topology. This one. So I say that the destination is this one and source is my IP, which is this one and VRF is management and hit enter and exit from here. So domain configuration is done as per our setting. Okay. And which we decide here that next step is the VPC domain configuration. After the domain configuration, when we done, we need to move on. Next, we need to configure peer link. 
So these are the peer link one slash one and one slash two and the port channel will be one. Okay, so let's go and enter faces e1 slash 1 dash 2 there is no range command you can type directly so i say interface 1 slash 1 and 2 as per our topology 1 slash n and 1 slash 2 okay switch port switch port mode a trunk and what else i need to configure Painting to okay let me type this command by default is here and port type is network and then channel group so channel group we decide it has to be one and mode is active it can be active or passive whatever you like and no shutdown okay so my two interfaces are configured so we are going to configure peer link and the port channel is one okay next exit from here interface port channel one which we just configured this one and apply the same thing here no shutdown switch port switch port mode trunk and spanning tree by the way let me copy from here the same command let me apply under the port channel as well and the final thing i need to say that these are vpc peer link we discussed peer link yeah so i said these two interfaces are my peer link under the port channel no need to type this command under the interfaces and finally no shutdown and exit from here so this step is done now next step is the port member this one one slash three which is connected to the third device and these are the steps which we say so physical connectivity is already done domain we configure already vpc peer link we just done next we have vpc member link configuration that's what i want to do so member link is one slash three <clears throat> so interface e one slash three and channel group will be if we go back so we decide port channel 10 and as mentioned here as well member port channel will be 10 this one so here i will say port channel group 10 and mode is active okay and no shutdown so let me exit from here and then i need to go to the port channel the same port channel 10 so exit from here and enter face port channel which channel we just create 10 let me go to that port channel and no shutdown and switch port and switch port mode trunk okay and here i will say the vpc will be 10 you can give them any number normally we keep the same number and you know so that it will be easy to troubleshoot otherwise you can give them any vpc number so in this case i give them vpc 10 and exit from here and i'm done with this switch the same configuration we need to do on the other side of the switch okay we need to follow the same things so let's go to switch number two okay and here i need to go to configuration host name nx-2 okay and what i need to do again i need to enable the feature so feature vpc vpc okay and another feature which is required lacp so i enable the two feature first which is required then interface management 0 and IP address 10.1.2 slash 30. I believe is correct if I go back. So this one 10.1.1.2. Okay, so I configure this IP and no shutdown and exit from here. Next, we need the VPC domain. So it has to be the same VPC domain which we configure this side. So this side, the VPC domain was 1. So it has to be the same okay and role priority we say it has to be 30 this side because this will be the secondary okay and next we need to type the same thing which we hear but it will be the opposite this one peer keep alive so my source will be okay so let me type myself 
okay it's better to type peer keep alive destination will be the other side this ip management ip okay and the source will be my ip which is this one and the vrf is management and exit from here so domain configuration is done on next is switch to as well then the peer link interface e1 slash 1 dash 2 i'm talking about this one this this side we need to configure as well okay and here switch port mode uh, trunk okay let them switch port and spanning tree port type port type network okay and after that channel group will be one and mode active because we decide that the port channel will be one okay and no shutdown now i need to go to this port channel okay just wait for a while so the prompt can come exit and interface port channel one the same one sorry s1 and then no shutdown and switch port mode trunk and spanning tree let me type the same command this one under the port channel as well and finally i will say that vpc peer link these these two interfaces are peer link peer link okay between these two we discuss peer link and exit from here so i'm done with the peer link next we need to configure the member link again here we have one slash three okay so i need to go to interface one slash three and channel group 10 and mode active because we decide that it will be port channel 10 the member link okay and no shutdown okay and after that exit from here interface port channel the same port channel 10 sorry port channel 10 and no shutdown switch port and switch port mode a trunk and finally the vpc number we decide is 10 the same like a port channel group okay and let's see let exit from here is done so now the two switches are configured now we need to configure the third device okay which is this switch okay so i already opened this switch which is a normal switch so what i need to do here I need to go to enable config t hostname ACS okay and then interfaces range because this is a normal switch so we need to use a range 0 slash 0 and 0 slash 1 interface g 0 slash 0 and 1 and switch port trunk encapsulation dot 1q switch port mode trunk okay and channel protocol channel protocol LACP and channel group 10 mode active it can be active or passive and no shutdown so we are done with this switch as well this is the normal port channel configuration okay and exit from here exit from here okay and finally we need to do the testing so these are all the steps required to configure single sided vpc and these steps we mentioned previously that physical connection domain we configure peer link we configure member port we configure keep alive link we configure configuration sync we will see now is configuration is same device configuration and finally we need to do testing so this was the lab we configure let's go through and then we will verify okay so these are the detail and next is switch one then next is switch two and then finally we configure acs the normal and these are the verification command but before going to verification i suspend this link so let me resume this link no need to suspend i basically suspend so now let's go to the verification and next is switch what i need to do first i need to ping the other side management ip 10.1.2 and vrf is the management and hit enter so i can ping the other side ip which is nexus 2 similarly to verify here ping 
10.1.1 and VRF management. So I can ping from switch 2 to switch 1. I'm talking about these two switches. From here I ping this IP and from this IP I ping this IP. So this is the first step. Next we need to type show VPC. So show VPC here they say that the domain is 1 and peer agency found is OK. So both are OK and peer is alive that both peer are alive. Configuration is status is successful and per VLAN is also it's OK. Type 2 we will discuss type 1 and type 2 consistency status is also OK and VPC role this device is secondary and number of VPC configure we only configure one okay and peer gateway we will discuss all these later on but anyway it's okay from this side and this is port channel one and we have port channel 10 this one is the peer link and this one is the member link and it's up and successful and everything is okay the same command we can type on the next switch one to verify so here also the same thing next thing we need to type show VPC role so if you want to check the role, so this is the primary, this device, and the other one is the secondary device. This one is secondary, okay? So this is also verify. Third command to verify and do testing show VPC port channel. Sorry, it's better show port channel summary. So port channel summary say, in normal switch we type the command show ether channel summary. I believe yeah ether channel summary so normal switch we type show ether channel summary and next switch is we type show port uh, port channel summary so here a normal switch they say I have two interfaces I'm talking about normal switch means the normal iOS they say I have two interfaces connected with ether channel to one device basically these are two devices and they say that the port channel is 10 and we know this one okay uh, this S means it's the capital one is layer 2 and U means this one this S and use okay protocol we are using LSCP and the port taking participating and port channel is 00, 0 and 0 slash 1 and P means S bundle and port channel so port channel is configured and it's okay however in next switch we type the command show port channel summary so it's okay P P the same concept okay protocol is LSCP and LACP and this the member port so it's okay and it's connected SA group 10 and this is up similarly we need to type the same command on the port channel uh, sorry on the next is switch 2 so again everything is P and everything is okay so we verify that everything is working similarly if you want so show feature which feature is enabled if you want to test okay so we enable only two feature and those features are VPC, it's this one, LACP, and we have, okay, this is the default one which can enable this one, LACP and VPC. The last one we will go to v, VPC. So you can verify which feature has been enabled. Similarly, show v, uh, VPC brief to show you display information about the VPC. I already show you. So it's the domain ID and other detail and you can see from here. Similarly, if you want to check any error, we will use this command later on and show running configuration VPC to check the configuration. Okay, the running configuration. So you can type this command. Let me type here. Okay, and here is the configuration. So we configure VPC domain and this port channel 10. Okay, and these are the detail if you want to verify show port channel capacity show vpc statistics to check show vpc peer keep alive if you want to check keep alive link show vpc role and show vpc urban port we don't have and we will discuss these later on and then we verify so this was uh, the configuration of a single sided vpc okay that's it